Hi friends. If you are new here, my name is Angela D and I'm vlogging about anything and everything, but most especially being a single millennial in Los Angeles who likes to travel and who is also very close to becoming a licensed foster mom. This is going to be a very quick video. The holidays have taken their toll and I have lost all track of time and space and I even worked the whole time. So I don't know why I'm so confused, but I am. Thought I'd give you a little update and go over our timeline here. In October, I submitted my application. About um, a day later, I heard from the agency saying that they wanted to set up my um, pre-assessment, which means um, a placement worker comes to your house and decides if you um, might be a fit for their program. And if so, they um, pass your information along to um, the people back at like the admissions part of the agency and then they invite you to take classes. Um, a couple weeks later in November, I started classes. Mid-November, we skipped a week for Thanksgiving. Did my last two classes at the beginning of December. Through this entire process, I turned in all of my paperwork early, earlier than anybody else in my class, submitted absolutely everything, and now I am waiting for my placement social worker to be able to come back to my house and do my hopefully last home study. They do three home studies minimum. They can do more if they need to. I'm hoping she only needs to do three. My my luck is that I am a super go-getter and I wanted everything done, so I submitted it all before the end of my classes. Um, and my social worker, the one that I got, or I think they're called like a placement specialist or something, but she is a social worker. She apparently is one of the busier ones because some of my classmates who hadn't quite finished their paperwork ended up having their third home study done like the day after our last class in mid-December. And my social worker was like, oh no, sorry, I have five more families to do ahead of you. And so maybe I'll get back to you in January sometime, or maybe you'll get certified in February, which is super annoying because I was so eager <laughs> to get in all of my paperwork. And if I had had the specialists that my classmates had, I would have probably been licensed in December before Christmas, but whatever, trying to be patient, trying to understand that this is just one of the many frustrations of working in this system. It's minor. Um, when I spoke with a current foster parent in my agency, she said, enjoy your last Christmas of silence. And honestly, the way I celebrate Christmas, it's been low key for like the last seven years. So I've had low key Christmases for a really long time. I want a Christmas full of yells, shrieks, tantrums, everything that comes with having children in your care, in your home. So that's kind of my update. Um, from October to today, I've turned in everything. I've gotten my physical done. I got a TB test done, a car inspection. I am ready. I am just waiting on the system now. So um, it's faster than having to go through county. County doesn't even, I've submitted my application to Los Angeles County, but they're so backlogged for some reason that it takes them like a year to even look at your application. So I guess I should be thankful that it's moving faster than if I was going through county, but still a little bummed that I could have had some babies over Christmas, but didn't, but it's fine, it's fine, moving along. Um, I have done a lot of nesting. So I have um, gotten a ton of stuff from friends and family who've been super supportive um, from the registry I set up. And uh, I'm now just organizing my apartment, trying to get it all ready. Um, I've washed every article of clothing I have. You can see it on my Instagram, if you haven't already, for um, 12 months and under. Um, I actually think I did 12 to 18 and under, but I'm probably gonna get a child between newborn and six months. So my plan now is um, to package everything up that's bigger than 12 months and to put it in a storage unit. I got a storage unit yesterday because I have a lot, a lot, a lot of baby paraphernalia and some of it I can't use until the baby's older, like an umbrella stroller. Like you can't really use that until they're sitting up well. Or I have, I don't know, I just have a bunch of stuff. And then there's stuff that I personally have that I'm not ready to get rid of that, I'm gonna, that I put in the storage unit and there's stuff that I'm gonna do for consignment um, and consignment season doesn't start again for at least another month or two. So like I don't want it in my apartment um, for my last home study and it's just an effort to get rid of some of the clutter in my house. It's hard living in a one bedroom apartment um, because I'm gonna have this tiny little creature who takes up a lot of closet space with all their stuff. So 
I think a storage unit was a good idea. As far as travel is concerned, I haven't done a lot of it um, during the time I've had this vlog because I have been home and ready and available for home studies and for classes that I was taking for foster care. So it's one of those things where like, I want maybe want to travel this month, January, but I also want to know when my social worker is gonna come do my last home study because I don't want to be out of town when I could possibly have her come. She was waiting for my agency to open back up after the holiday. They've been open back up since January 2nd. Today is January 4th? 3rd. Today's January 3rd, I think. Um, so I am, I'm not gonna bother her. I'm not gonna email her and ask her when she's coming. But I did call the agency to ask a couple other questions and then put the bug in their ear that, hey, maybe you could contact her and tell her to do my last home study so that I can become licensed. I don't know, maybe they will, maybe they won't, but I know that the placement um, coordinator person at the agency was really hoping that I would get um, licensed in December, but is not looking like, well, it's definitely not happening in December. I'm hoping it'll happen in January. I'll only start to get frustrated if I haven't heard from her in a few days. So yeah, that's my foster care update. I will be back on here with more topics to cover. If you have any topics that you're, you're wondering about, please leave them in the comments below. As always, I appreciate your shares on social media. And if you wanna join me on Facebook and on Instagram, my handle is at Angela D Vlogs. Hope your Christmas or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or winter solstice or whatever you celebrate was amazing. Or if you didn't celebrate, I hope it was still cozy and merry and bright. See you in the next video.